In this video, I'll introduce you to XAMPP Data Grid, the grid control and net advantage for WPF on a business and how you combine it to a view model. I've created a small sample project to illustrate this relatively simple scenario. So in this case, my project includes just a single window with a grid in it. So let's now run the project and see what it looks like at runtime. So what we see here is a grid that's been generated in response to the data that it's bound to. In this case, it's bound to six columns, one of them of type date and five of them of type double. In this case, the bound data source is hierarchical. So the XAMPP data grid automatically generated all the child levels, generated their columns, and can show and hide these child records on demand. Also, by default, all the columns are editable, so we can directly edit these values with the appropriate editors as per data type. So in this case, in the first column, we have a date time editor, which shows a calendar control because the data type of this column is date. On the other hand, in all the other columns, we see a numeric editor, which allows us to enter only numeric values. So as we make changes to this data, all the changes are automatically pushed back to the view model and it can perform any updates or inserts or deletes as it sees fit. So let's now take a look at how this sample is built just to illustrate how simple it is to bind a XAMPP data grid to a view model. Taking a look at the XAML, we can see that there is a grid control which is bound to the stock data property of the data context of the entire window. And in the data context of the window, we have an instance of the ticker view model class, which essentially we can find in the view models folder. So let me just open that. It has a public ob observable collection containing elements of type ticker data, which is named stock data. And that is populated with records when that view model is instantiated. So hopefully this illustrates how easy it is to bind the XAMPP data grid to a property of view model and to have it generate its columns and hierarchical levels entirely automatically without us specifying any columns or any settings on how to display the hierarchy. Of course, we can do that with the field settings and field layout settings, but this is just an illustration of how even without setting any of these properties, you get a view in the XAMPP data grid, which completely shows the bound data source. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.